Another North Carolina state race remains undecided. A recount is now underway, and this time it is statewide. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson is live this afternoon at Wake County's Board of Elections Operations Center. Good afternoon, Robert. Good afternoon, Amy. You can see that the poll workers are busy here. The state auditor's race finished even closer than the governor's. Incumbent Democrat Beth Wood began the day just a few ballots shy of a 6,000 vote lead over Republican challenger Chuck Stuber. And every county in the state is recounting ballots today, but none has more to go through than Wake County. More than 50 workers are here in Raleigh, putting more than a half million ballots through the machines. The Board of Elections director for the county told me the original plan was to use Wake County's five high-speed counters, but they're using some of the regular tabulators as well with a goal of finishing tomorrow. He says he doesn't expect the outcome of the election to change, but it's possible the recount won't exactly match the first count. For the most part, your, number, your numbers are always going to stay the same. same. You know, did a voter maybe put a check mark on a ballot and, you know, the sensitivity of the machines or maybe if they started to put a dot in one oval and then decided to fill in another oval. Um, but again, those are explainable. Wake County also has a representative race under review for State House District 40. Republican incumbent Marilyn Avila ran for her sixth term, but found herself after the initial count down 391 to Democrat challenger Joe John. Avila spent some of the day here. She became the Republicans' deputy majority leader in the State House last year. We're going to keep an eye on those results and keep you updated. Reporting live in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina. Thank you.